This lesson will cover the following topics. Computer programming. In automatic mode, the computer has seven different gear change settings according to the driver's style of driving and the type of gradient. The gear change speed settings based on driving style are as follows. The Eco setting is for gentle driving on a level road and authorizes gear changes at low engine speeds. The Medium setting is for slightly more lively driving on a level road, requiring gear changes at mid-range engine speeds. The Sport mode is for higher performance, which needs gear changes at high engine speeds. The four other settings are based on the gradient. Gradient setting 1 corresponds to a slope of 6 to 10%. Gradient setting 2 corresponds to a slope of 10 to 15%. Gradient setting 3 corresponds to a slope of more than 15%. And finally, the descent setting is used from minus 10%. The computer selects the setting to use on the basis of signals supplied by various sensors. The choice of driving setting is determined by the driver's style of driving based on the following information. Accelerator pedal position and speed with which it is depressed. And vehicle speed. To determine the gradient setting, the computer estimates the slope and the resistance to forward movement on the basis of the following information. Accelerator pedal position. Speed. Vehicle acceleration. The computer must then choose from the driving settings and gradient settings to determine which program to use. However, priority is given to going uphill. Gear change takes place at the gear change point. The gear change points are stored in the sequential gearbox computer and are mainly calculated on the basis of vehicle speed and the position of the accelerator pedal. Occasionally, under certain conditions, the computer may have to correct the gear change points. For example, if the driver suddenly lifts his foot off the accelerator pedal, the computer may demand that the gear engaged be held. The computer may also demand a change to one or two gears lower according to how the accelerator pedal is depressed. If the clutch overheats, the computer sets up a safety strategy to protect the clutch. Overheating of the clutch is usually due to incorrect use of the sequential gearbox, for example, holding the vehicle on a slope with the accelerator pedal instead of using the brake pedal. The computer constantly monitors the temperature of the clutch, and when the critical temperature threshold is reached, the following actions are taken. The buzzer is activated. The creep function is inhibited. Pulling away in second gear is not authorized. These special actions are maintained as long as the clutch temperature is above the overheating limit. In addition to breakdown and safety modes, the sequential gearbox also has dynamic priority correction with the full load and braking assistance functions. So, when the driver presses the accelerator pedal sharply past the kickdown point, the computer anticipates changing down a gear to give enough engine speed for overtaking. The braking assistance function is activated when the brake pedal is depressed, giving maximum engine braking while anticipating downshifts. We will now do some exercises before we continue. What information does the computer use to determine the gear change speed settings? What is the effect of dynamic correction on the accelerator pedal with the full load function? In this section, we covered the following points. In automatic mode, the computer has seven different gear change settings according to the driver's style of driving and the type of gradient. 
the computer selects the setting to use on the basis of signals supplied by various sensors. Occasionally, under certain conditions, the computer may have to correct the gear change points. If the clutch overheats, the computer sets up a safety strategy to protect the clutch. The sequential gearbox also has dynamic priority correction with the full load and braking assistance functions.